And, okay, confession time. This is the part where I sort of amble around confused because I'd forgotten... I'd forgotten uh, about how to turn those rats loose on these guys. So... We're, 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 entering, we're, entering a, we're entering a filler arc of the Let's Play right now, for the next few minutes. See those keys right there? I missed those keys. Because I'm an idiot. And I didn't edit this part out because I, as previously stated, am an idiot. So... But, we'll see, we'll still see some stuff. Happens to the best of us. I may, I, may ha I may have to give up my claims of being an official smart person from earlier. So, I guess I guess you can meet my sister if you want. <laughs> oh, just steal some bread. Dark vision is extremely helpful. It's one of your most valuable powers. The upgraded version lets you see also see um, items you can pick up, and like mechanisms you can use, and like their wires through walls, which is handy if you're going to be like using uh, rewiring tools. Or if you just like you see a wall of light in your way and you want to figure out where its fuel supply is so you can disable it. Hmm. So which of these powers would you want if you could have one? Oh, in real life. Yeah. Well, I probably it would be cool to have, but I probably should not be trusted with blink just because I would get like if I if I could just zap around the house without having to walk, I would just get so incredibly lazy that my legs would just atrophy into sticks. Yeah. It'd be so it wouldn't be that one. Dark vision might be kind of handy if I could just see, see see through walls. Or possession. Oh yeah. Although I'm tempted to stay possession, but you know. Although if if you're if you're in the rat while you're going through this vent, it, it doesn't last forever. So if it runs out while you're in the vent, it runs out while you're in the vent, and you turn back to full size in there, and that does not go well for you. No, I can't imagine it would. I kind of imagine, like, people, like, by the vent, like, see the vent, like, they see suddenly just this eruption of, like, liquefied Corvo blast out of it. <laughs> High pressure. And I went up there because I'm lost, basically. But, oh, we did this, this book. Travel to Pandicia. This is interesting. Excerpt from a travel chronicle by Anton Sokolov. This could be interesting. Anton Sokolov, you know, being, you know, the inventor that, you know, so much of this... This sort of, like, magic industrial revolution is based on. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have, their te have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships spawned in the Circonian archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs welcoming those who would visit the far continent, as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school, or would one say a flock, of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touched with toxic quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds. A quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes wide with terror. Few have crossed the ocean, and the distance to Pandicia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with but a handful I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apoplectic outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. So, Anton Sokolov, the foremost scientist of this age, spent some time on that mysterious continent where people just go nuts and die. So yeah, Pandicia, place, a place to steer clear of. A nice place to live. No. And not many people do live there, as far as, at least as far as people in the world of Dishonored know. They talk about those, like, settlements along some of the coasts, but not much in the way of, like, civilization. And as you may recall, the heart, you know, when it's just saying weird stuff, you know. General, one of it said, it said earlier, the doom of Pandicia is here. Which, they don't, she doesn't say what that means, because she's an enigmatic talking disembodied heart, and they don't do explanations, but...
you know, one of the useful things for the blink power, not just getting to ledges or whatever, is if there's a, a spant you want to cross and, like, someone might be watching it, you can use it to, like, z you know, zip from one hidden area to another without, have, without having to walk through the area that might be seen. Interesting. So it's, it's not just for, like, getting into high places or distant places. It's also for just getting around stealthily. <laughs> so does dark vision drain your mana very much? Uh, no. Dar dark vision is actually like blink in that it temporary it causes a temporary drop, but if you let it, if you don't use any other powers for a, l a few seconds, it recharges back up. Interesting. Yeah, it's like blink in that respect. Mm -hmm. You can see the arcs of their vision. And these, they've all got these baleful, burning Sauron eyes when you're in dark mode. <coughs> and... I'll just leave him under the table there. S steal some fruit while I'm at it. Also, the the powers when you use some of the powers when you use them, there's like that creepy voice talking. I'm not sure what he's saying, but oh. that's just a bit of th bit on the uh, like the food of Morley or something. I I might find another one of those later. Morley is sort of the not Scotland of the Dishonored universe in the way that Tivia is not Russia slash Scandinavia, and Gr and Serkonos is not Italy. And Crystal is not England. I don't know what Pandicia is. Not America? Possibly. Feeding log. But this is the moment where I realized, oh, that's where the keys are. I'm a moron. And decided to reload in shame. And I'm... So, here we are, back up here. Because I real because I thought, why why kill those guys myself? You know, like some schlub when I can have people do it for me. And by people, I mean a swarm of hungry rats. But you know. Do you need both keys? Maybe I had the wrong one. Okay. You're free! Born free! <laughs> free as the wind blows. Alright, that's enough of that. We'll get content matched. And now I just wade into the fray. Is anyone left? Now they're going to town on that guy. It's kind of a weird front room of thing to have in the front room of your house. A corpse pile? Well, that too. Although actually, not, according to the state of Dunwall, maybe not so weird. <laughs> but, let's have a look at this. I notice there's a human arm under there. The ring on it. See what this feeding log says. Feeding log. Fourth day, month of wind. Assorted human remains. Strong appetite. Tenth day, month of wind. One bag Tivian pears. Bruised, rotted. Rats uninterested. Eleventh day. One tin potted whale meat. Eaten. Thirteenth day. Human torso. No trouble finding corpse parts. Seventeenth day. No feeding. Aggression increased. Incident of cannibalism. Twentieth day. Incident with previous maid servant. Will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. So, yeah, like I said, work conditions are not the best in Dr. Galvani's office. Nick, you're muted. No, 
I don't believe it would be. And between that and the fact that he apparently sometimes does not pay in a timely manner. Yeah. Well, in this economy, you take what you can get, I suppose. Ah, some health elixir. Well, I've been working construction for a while, and I found out just the other day that, like, some of the stuff that my bosses have been doing, they're not supposed to do. Well, then let's let's take a look at th this now. Customs and food of Morley. Excerpt from a traveler's journal. Born and raised in Bristol, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There, in the capital city, I learned to understand the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Sir Konos, Tivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estermont. Perhaps, perhaps, like so many in Dunwall, I suffered from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I will explain why I found the Festival of Churners to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes and why their renowned jellied ox tongue is something I will be struggling to forget for many years to come. So, not everyone is a fan of the customs and food of Morley, it would seem. You're, anyway, you were saying... Oh, unmute. Anyway, you are saying about, um... about your, about, uh, construction. Oh, yeah. Like, pay docking and... Uh, one day this guy was uh, asleep on the job and he got fired and the rest of us got our pay docked oh. and it uh, turns out that that's not legal but Whoops. Uh -oh. it's now. So. the third stricture the seven strictures they're, they're like sort of the rule the main rules of the, uh, the abbey of the everyman they're kind of their equivalent of the ten commandments sort of although they're a little more elaborate. Restrict the restless hands, which quickly become the workmates of the outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sordid gain, vain pursuits, and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, and the spade. I, I assume they mean like the pitchfork or something. Mm. I, I assume they're not telling you to just eat. Okay. For even the lowliest labor that is rigorous squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Okay. So, restrict the restless hands, Nick. Or you'll go blind. That's what they tell me. I don't... <laughs> Avoiding the rat plague. Excerpt from a government protocol on disease practices. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from river crust will protect against contraction of the disease. Nor is it true that crushed Morley orchids act as a remedy. Though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Sokolov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products, before exposure to the plague, before exposure to the plague, constitutes the, ol constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbors and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. So apparently they're not a fa they're not they're not a fan of of cat vapor based medicine. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too well, and I I did find a cat, yeah. but I guess I can't. Remember. And now and now it all all you've got is like a sore throat or something from the smoke, right? Yeah. No, I hope that's a lesson to you, Nick. I guess I thought I just did it wrong. A poor workman blames his burning cat. All right, there's okay, there's slack jaw. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the strictures of the High Overseer, the municipal laws of the city of Dunwall. He's he's the head of the Bottle Street Gang. We already had a run. Remember the uh, uh, Granny Rags and her gentleman callers? Mm. They were members of the Bottle Street Gang, yes. and that's who she wants us to go poison the poison the still of. Oh. 
and yeah, and Slackjaw is their leader. Oh, a safe with three digits on it. Now, as you may recall, the most important day of Dr. Galvani's life is two, eight, seven. And there we go. And there's some ingots inside, 100 coins each. Nice. You must have seen those G. Gordon Liddy commercials about investing in gold. <laughs>